What is going on guys, Judo Sloth here and welcome to today's Clash of Clans video where we are going to be teaching you how to be a better Town Hall 12 attacker. Now if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for all of my Clash of Clans videos. What we are going to do today is give you lots of tips, tricks, strategy, everything. How to get 3 stars as a Town Hall 12. Now we are going to be covering some basics in today's video as well. It's always important to go back to basics. They are some of the things that can help you out even as you were a beginner progressing through to advanced gameplay. You still need them basic mechanics. Now the first thing I want to discuss is a kill squad. You can see how advanced we get the kill squad here. And as advanced as you make it, it's a basic principle of clash. Coming in, taking out some targets in order to set up the rest of your attack. Now the kill squad you see in this attack was pretty advanced. It was very heavy, we pushed right the way to the opposite side of the base to get that Giga Tesla because the strategy we are using in this example is the Hog Riders. They are going to go down to the Giga Tesla if you do not take it out. So we pressed right the way through the base to that other side. Now in the next attack you will see a different kill squad. It's still under that umbrella term of a kill squad and the basic principles of it, but it all depends on how you adapt it from there. And obviously it's always base by base dependent. In this one we had to press from one side of the base, had them giants initially, lots of bowlers alongside all of the heroes in order to press through, get that town hall and everything else. Now what we also did, which we'll touch upon in other attacks here as well, is we basically set up pathing for the hog riders. Now all we mean by that is we took out defences on one side of the base in order to press the hog riders across the other. Now check out this kill squad, we're splitting it in two. And this is the Sui Battle Blimp and the Sui Hero Method. It's still a kill squad in essence, we're trying to get some objectives here. Now we send the Battle Blimp into this single Inferno, well to the Town Hall shall we say, and because the single Inferno is directly next to the Town Hall, we know that we're going to activate it, we know that actually the Balloons are going to get the same damage onto the Town Hall when they attack the single Inferno, so we're going to get both of them down. We don't need to put anything else into that area, we've taken out the main objectives there. However, at the top of the base, there is the enemy queen. So we can bring in a kill squad in essence, but it is a Sui kill squad, we're just using the heroes here. Once they go down, they go down, that's just part of it. We once set objectives and then that's it. So at the top here, again we're stripping off some of the buildings, but what we're after here is the enemy queen and you can see right at the end, boom, down she goes. So we've used the battle blimp in the south, We've used the heroes in the north, that in essence has taken out some of the defences as well. And the strategy we use in this one is the Lava Loon. So the Lava Hound's coming in initially in order to tank, followed by the balloons which are defence targeting troops. And because we've taken out the defences in the north and the south, we can control their pathing a little bit. Now you can see in the south there's that one archer tower but the balloons aren't going to be drawn into the compartment at the bottom there, they'll get to that archer tower, in fact we can get to it later but at the, arch, the archer tower at the top here in the wizard tower we send in a couple of other balloons to help out. You can see how through the middle of the base though that's where the balloons were targeted, they just went in a straight line from the right hand side of the base to the left hand side in essence because all of the other defences were down and this is overkill to be honest. There are so many balloons left because this attack was done so efficient, efficiently with the kill squad. So again, I mean I want to highlight all of these attacks are by Red Elite, my clan. If you are interested in joining us be sure to check out my Discord server, there's all the information you will ever need for Red Elite in there, that's all down in the description of this video. Currently, we are recruiting Max Town Hall 11 and 12 players.
We have two more attacks for you though, we're not done yet. Let's continue to bring in the three star attacks and give you lots of tips along the way. So hog riders again for this one and again you want to be varying your kill squad based on what you are going for. The Giga Tesla is going to be huge. Now you will have set objectives, there's certain things that you want to try and look out for but it's not like you have to take them all down. So the Giga Tesla is obviously huge, a strategy like the hog riders or even the balloons for that matter. You're going to have to have a plan for that because it will wipe them all out. So you either have to have your Grand Warden in order to use the ability and make all of them troops invincible, that massive bomb underneath the Giga Tesla won't touch them, or you need to take it out with your kill squad, as you can see Clash Lord does in this one. You will notice that the dragons come out of the CC, that is another major factor, you want to try and get that, that down if possible, but again it's not something that you have to, it depends on what's in there, maybe you've had a scout attack, you want to be looking at them scouts, you need, I mean that is a basic basic thing, but you need to be guys. Make sure you're watching the replays, what's in the clan castle, where are the different traps? Maybe you are sending in a balloon to check for a black air bomb, there might already be a replay. You might not even need to do that because you might know that there's none there. And again, look at how deep we pressed with the kill squad here. It made it relatively straightforward for the hog riders to then come in and take this base down. And again, the kill squad, yes, you want to take things like the CC, the Giga Tesla, the Queen, but they're all things that you can leave as well. There's always ways around it, but you need to have a plan for them. So make sure you're thinking about the entire raid. If you're leaving the queen alive, you have to be thinking about the strategy you're using. Maybe you can use the skeleton spell on top of the queen with the rage spell to take her out. Maybe you can use the queen pop. I don't know. There's a few different strategies. You just have to have a plan. And to be a better Town Hall 12 attacker, you have to be planning these attacks out. You have to be thinking, if you are missing something, can you incorporate that into your plan. Now you have to be able to adjust on the fly as well guys, so if something goes wrong you need to be able to adjust slightly, put in your hog riders from a different place, maybe adjust your, your funnel, maybe you need a little bit more with that. What you can always do is overcompensate the funnel a little bit in order to make sure that you get it, because if you mess your funnel then basically it's not going to work. However, you can use and overcompensate the funnel and then if you need to, you've got some troops for cleanup because as soon as the hog riders or the balloons or whatever strategy you're using, if it's a one that is defense targeting only, then you're going to need them cleanup troops because the defense targeting troops will bypass the trash buildings, the gold mines, the storages, the barracks, things like that. So you then need a couple of wizards or minions or whatever type of strategy works best in to clean that up and get that straight in. Again, it's a basic thing, but if you are leaving it, then you might run out of time and that's not what you want. You can also save a balloon, for example, if you're using the lava balloon. That's always a good strategy because if there is a, let's say, a wizard tower on the back end, you can distract. But then if you don't need that, you can actually use the balloon for cleanup. Now, I kind of missed the pecker to set up the funnel on this one, but that was a fantastic use at the bottom. I hope you guys kind of seen it. I'm not too sure whether I caught it on the gameplay or not, but basically it was a difficult funnel. And sometimes you can get yourself wrapped in knots trying to think, is a bowler best here? Is a wizard best here? Or maybe the baby dragon? Sometimes you just need to commit that extra troop space. Now, the pecker can do it by itself. It doesn't need to have any other troops behind it. It's not like you need giants and wizards or, you know, even commit a golem there. It's 25 troop capacity, so yes, you're putting yourself out a bit, but if you know it's going to get done, it's going to tank for your other troops as well, sometimes that is worth the commitment. So do not forget about that pecker as a funneling troop. Again, 
be efficient with your funnel? Can you actually just send the Grand Warden in who has a good range to snipe off the odd building or so first and then merge in with your actual attack? It's going to be very interesting to see how you adapt from that if you use this video to just rethink things. Honestly, trying to think about your strategy and plan things a bit more efficiently is one of the best things you can do. I hope that has helped you. I've been your host, Judo Sloth, and until next time, peace out.